Hi everybody, welcome to today's Active Campaigns platform demo. My name is Alana Hurley and I will be your host for today. I will spend around the next hour walking you through some cool features in Active Campaign and answering any of the questions that you may have right there in the chat. Uh, to keep our content organized, we will begin today with an intro of Active Campaign, who we are, what we do, and what you possibly can do with us. Uh, followed by our three core modules highlighted here in green, as well as two important feature overviews, and finally leaving you with some important resources. Each module includes overviews of features that are vital to everybody's success in not only understanding Active Campaign, but also the customer experience automation industry. Each module is around 15 minutes and will be followed by a Q&A session uh, at the end where I'm happy to answer any of your questions in the chat. As questions come up throughout the presentation, please do not hesitate to use the chat feature. Uh, my colleague will be there to assist you if you have any questions. If you think of a question after our time together today, please do not hesitate to reach back out to your assigned representative here at Active Campaign. Uh, they would love to hear from you and chat about some of the, the cool things that you learned here today. I will also be sharing my email and LinkedIn in the presentation, so please feel free to reach out to me as a resource for you as well. We can get started today with an introduction of Active Campaign and why we are the global leader in customer experience automation. Today, we have more than 150,000 active customers on the platform. We run businesses in more countries than McDonald's, with half of those businesses being international. And we also have over 300 integrations with brands you know, like Shopify and Salesforce Essentials, etc. We are rated number one by G2 for marketing automation. We are number two in the Shopify app store for marketing automation. And we are currently the only marketing automation tool that caters effectively to Salesforce essential customers with our motto still standing as all for small. Our customers come in every shape and size, entrepreneur and enterprise, whether you have 10 customers or 10 million. Every industry, B2C, B2B, e-commerce, in 170 plus countries and more than 15 different languages. They all use Active Campaign to deepen their relationships with customers at every touch point. CXA, or Customer Experience Automation, makes customer connections scalable across all channels by automating personalized communications that engage customers on an individual level. CXA allows you to treat every customer like they are your most important customer, whether you have 10 customers or 10 million. This is a new category of software that allows businesses to connect and automate personalized touch points across the entire customer lifecycle. It's all about making every customer feel like they have a personal relationship with you, no matter how big you grow. Customer experience automation is different from other solutions in that it actually boosts the effectiveness of your existing tool set and works in tandem with that to help you make your business more customer friendly. CXA is different from solo marketing automation, CRM, and service tools in that it considers the entire customer lifecycle. Customers want their entire experience with you to be connected. They wanna have a fluid conversation with you throughout the whole process. Customers don't want an email from marketing when they actually need support help and they expect you to know what they need based on the purchase they have made, what their personal preferences are, or where they are in your buying cycle. CXA is focused on providing consistent experience messages to the right person at the right time as if you were routing it yourself. Now that we have more of an understanding of what Active Campaign can do and the possibilities that CXA offers your business, we can start showing some of the features that actually make these personal connections possible. So with that, let's jump right into contacts and segmentation. 
What we really need to understand about the importance of organizing your contacts is that this is what gives you context about your existing relationships. It helps you efficiently store that context or information and it aids you in accurately drawing from that information to spend more time with your customers during their journey for a more personalized touch. Segmentation really lets us dive a little bit deeper into that context and gives us very important insight into your different audiences. Using segmentation in active campaign can help you send targeted email messaging or trigger automated journeys based on each customer's interest or current situation directly aiding movement through their customer lifecycle. To emphasize just how important the segment builder is, I always like to share the little fun fact that the builder is actually located in I believe over 10 different places all over the platform. You'll see it in our automation builder, our segment builder, in the contacts form, anywhere that you may need to draw on that specific information and segment a certain section of your contacts. At Active Campaign, we know it is so important to be able to focus on the right message to the right person at the right time and via the right medium when crafting a perfectly personalized customer experience. So now that we understand the basics of context and segmentation, I want to share with you my favorite way of breaking this concept down. As you can see on this slide, I like to use the example of a house. Organizing your business contacts is just as important as organizing your home. Think about how frustrating it is when the house is a mess, everything's in disarray, and you can't find the things that you are looking for. We want to make sure that you can always find exactly what you need in Active Campaign. So here's the breakdown. Your house itself is big and bulky. It holds a lot of furniture, people, and possessions. Your list in Active Campaign, especially your master list, will be big and bulky and will most likely not change much, just like your house. If you go inside of the house, you will find furniture like couches, tables, chairs, etc. Your segments will be like the furniture inside of your home. Much easier to change more frequently than the house itself, but still requires some work. And if you go even further, your tags and custom fields will be ever-changing like the people moving in and out of the house. They are very easy to change and very easy to manage. To really help you all understand the journey one of your customers can take in your active campaign account, I'm going to walk you through a scenario for a business called Boone's Bandanas and how a newly acquired prospect would progress through the platform first in a capture form, then we will look at her contact record, then as a deal record in our CRM, and then finally take a look at the automation that she has been traveling through since we captured her with that initial form. So everybody, meet Boone's Bandana's newest prospect, Tabitha. We captured Tabitha through this form that is built and hosted in Active Campaign, but is live on our website. You may also already have capture forms built out somewhere like WordPress or Squarespace, or you could be using a third-party form or landing page builder like Gravity Forms or Unbounce. If you are using a third party, that is totally fine. We can integrate that platform you are using into Active Campaign so you don't lose any data or information about your prospects. But the easiest, best practice I suggest is to just use our internal form builder that is available on all of our plan tiers like the one you see here. That being said, we do have a large number of native integrations that work seamlessly in Active Campaign. I'm not going to dive deep into those integrations right now, but if you are interested in hearing more about our native integrations, I would be happy to share some information and resources in the chat with you all so you can go ahead and send a message there. All right, back to this form. When building this form, we really wanted to understand a few initial things about Tabitha or any target contact 
um, and what potential this customer will have. We wanted to, of course, know her name, her email address, and what size dog she has. Something to note is you can make any custom field required by checking this box right here. This will make sure that the contact has to fill out this field when submitting this form. If you are a company that does not work much with email, but would get much more value from obtaining your contact's phone number, you can now set that as a default required field for someone to become a contact in your active campaign account. We actually just released this feature a few months ago and are very excited to help customers implement it. So please let me and my colleague know if you would like more resources about required fields. Jumping back into this form, we could always add some standard fields from the drop and drag builder to the right, or even create custom fields by clicking down here. For example, if it was also pertinent for us to know what specific breed Tabitha had, I very easily can add that field to the form, which will automatically then show up in our manage field tabs under the list tab in our main navigation of the site. We know that you all have very different businesses and different audiences that you are trying to understand different things about. This custom field section gives you the flexibility to learn the important things for your business about your customers and about what type of contact this is gonna be for the future of your business. Another way to obtain leads in ActiveCampaign is by using our Pages feature. For growing businesses, Pages is going to help you create on-brand high-converting landing pages in minutes with easy-to-customize templates and an intuitive builder. The Pages feature lives under the Site tab of your main navigation bar right by your forms. This feature allows you to make those quick and easy landing pages for capturing new leads. A landing page is a little bit different from a whole website. A landing page is a standalone web page that your contact lands on after they click a link, typically from a marketing campaign. These could be from an email, from a Google ad, Facebook ad, Instagram ad, etc. Use landing pages to find a single focus call to action. That one page that pops up after I click on your Instagram ad should be asking me to complete one thing compared to a website that will have multiple informational pages and a whole site navigation with multiple calls to action. The landing page feature is available on plus professional and enterprise plans and I am happy to get some more information on pages if you are interested. So Tabitha has filled out our form and has pressed submit, officially becoming a prospect and contact in our Boone's Bandana's active campaign account. When she pressed submit, a contact record automatically is generated with the information she shared with us on that form. And this is what a contact record looks like. If we start to break this contact record down a little bit, we can see that at the top, we have Tabitha's basic information. We have her name, her email address, phone number, etc. Each of these fields are 100% editable at any time if her information may change. If she moves, if she loses her phone, etc., any of this can be edited at any time. If you look to the right, you can see the contacts activity stream, which is a feed of live data about every action this contact has taken, like which automation she is in, which emails she has open, opened, and even which links within those emails she has clicked on, as well as CRM activity that our team has completed for Tabitha. With this filter, I can see everything Tabitha has done. But say I want to know more specifically about which automations she has completed or is currently in. I can use the filter right at the top to show me just the information I am looking for. 
If you look directly below her basic information, you can see the core section and where the majority of the information that we are holding about Tabitha in her contact record is hosted. This data is organized into a few different sections. These are fields, tags, and lists, like we learned about before. Fields are the individual and unique pieces of information that we collect about a contact. These are things like Tabitha's state, zip code, along with her industry, and even her specific position. Below the fields, we will find Tabitha's tags. Tags are labels that we can apply to organize activity, actions, and behavior. For example, let's say that Tabitha has attended a virtual doggy play date that we hosted for some of our customers. We can tag Tabitha based on that action so we can hopefully reference that information at a later date. This is actually has a lot of overlap between tags and fields. And if you recall from our example today, um, both your tags and your fields are the people in the house that are changing and adapting easily. There are a couple ways to add tags and fields. You can do this through automations like we will cover later in the session today, or you can just manually add them on the contact record here. And the third layer of segmentation, as we talked about before, is lists. One of the most important things to remember about lists is that lists are controlled by the contact. The contact gets to choose which list they do or do not subscribe to and when they subscribe or not. It is also important to note that contacts can be subscribed to multiple lists. For example, Tabitha subscribes to four of our lists here at Boone's Bandanas. And if she chose to do so, she could unsubscribe from any of these lists at any point, but she cannot unsubscribe from tags and fields associated with her contact. I want to bring a fair deal of attention to this because this is the feature that sets ActiveCampaign apart from other email automation platforms. Many other platforms are very much list-based, meaning that the list is the focal point of segmentation. And if you remember, a list is the most broad field of information. So in ActiveCampaign, you can go so much deeper with tags and fields to really drive that personalized customer experience. While we're speaking of other platforms, I would say that it's likely for a majority of you that you already have this contact information saved somewhere else. If that is the case, that is totally okay. We have a couple of different options of how to get that existing data into ActiveCampaign so there's no contact record or bit of information left behind. The best option um, is that ActiveCampaign actually offers a free migration service. Yes, you heard that, free migration service for all paid plans. Meaning our team will bring over all of your contact info like Tabitha's here, as well as templates, automations, forms, and data that you might have existing in an account. The team spends a ton of time with every detail, and I can attest to this because I was actually on our migrations team um, in another life before I moved to education. So this is, if this is something you think you are interested in, I'm more than happy to spend some time uh, today talking to you about what migrations would look like for you and sending you in the right direction. I can also uh, share the link to the migrations page if anybody is interested in reading more about it. So back to contacts. So we have seen what an individual contact record looks like. Let's zoom out a little bit to see what our contacts as a whole look like. So if we click this button here, we can see our main contacts page, which shows us the total number of contacts we have, as well as some very basic information about them. 
This page is very important if you are looking to segment your contacts based on a piece of shared information. For example, let's say I wanted to send a discount code for Boone's Bandana's new 4th of July bandana, uh, but I only want to send that out to contacts who have the tag purchased bandana because I want to re-engage a past customer with a new discount code. I can go up here to the search bar and select those exact conditions I just outlined. This segment builder can be as specific or broad as you would like, and if you ask me, it is really one of the most dynamite features in ActiveCampaign. This is the thing that gives you that personalized experience that we're all looking for. We can really segment based on anything in our builder and even things like e-commerce integrations like Shopify and WooCommerce or actions like link clicks or page visits. It really is anything that you are looking to watch. Once you have your segment established, you can do a couple of things. You can export the list if you want them to move outside of Active Campaign. You can save the segment so that you don't have to recreate that same logic again. But you can also bulk edit those contacts. The bulk editor is one of my favorite tools in Active Campaign because it helps you make a huge impact with just a couple of clicks. For example, let's say I really wanted to segment my contacts who have been engaged with my summer promotional material, have bought a bandana, and have referred a friend so that they get a dog toy. I can create that segment of my contacts with that data and then bulk edit all of those contacts into an automation that will send them the email content that shares with them how to redeem the free dog toy. The bulk editor allows you to be extremely efficient for many contacts at once. So with that, we'll wrap up our first module, Contacts and Segmentation, and we'll be moving on to module two about our deals CRM. Before we jump back into the platform, let's get some deals basics out of the way. I'm sure a few of you currently work in systems such as Salesforce or Salesforce Essentials to help organize your business relationships. Don't worry if you are a person who hates change. We have native integrations with Salesforce like I was mentioning before. Deals helps your team keep track of your priority relationships so they can execute on the activities necessary to drive your business forward. I will say it's very important to note that although we call this deals, it is realistically just managing the stages of our one-to-one -one relationships. This could be managing employees or vendors or really any relationship you can think of. In fact, when you sign on to Active Campaign, some of you may go through onboarding with one of our specialists. I know for a fact that they live in our CRM deals function so they can make sure to keep track of their relationships with newly onboarding customers. They do this so they can follow your process through five to seven meetings and keep track of where you're at with your journey of learning the platform. So let's dive into the difference between deals, pipelines, and stages, and then we can jump, jump back into the platform to look at some examples. A pipeline is your business process. You can set up as many pipelines or processes as is necessary for your business. Pipelines contain stages. So if pipelines are your processes, stages are the steps that deals must advance through to complete those processes. A deal is a way of identifying qualified leads as sales opportunities and is one of the most effective ways to qualify prospects. 
So now that we have the basics down, we can jump back into the platform for what deals and CRM looks like in Active Campaign. And we can sync back up with our contact Tabitha to see what this looks like for her. We can see that Tabitha is a deal in our CRM. As we dive in, we see that she's actually a new deal because Tabitha just filled out our form to become a contact. And you can see that she's in the new contact or the two contact stage of our leads pipeline. Essentially, our whole screen, everything we are looking at right now is just one of our pipelines that is tracking the stages and steps that a contact is advancing through. We want our leads like Tabitha to travel through these stages all the way to the end where she is a mature customer. As you can imagine, all of these stages are completely customizable for you and your business. You can change the colors, the wording, even click and drag different stages to reorder, whatever works for you. You can also delete stages if you no longer need them or create new stages here at the top. And again, just to reiterate, this is just for one pipeline. This is our leads pipeline right now but we can create an unlimited number of pipelines in our accounts. You could even have a pipeline for every stage of your customer experience if that is what is important to your business. Now, I wanna take a minute to pop back out and think about the big picture of how ActiveCampaign and all of our different functions can help you throughout your customer's life cycle. I understand that each and every one of you has a unique business and even more unique customers or prospects that you're trying to engage. That is why, while we are talking about pipelines and stages, I could go into great depths about our incredible CRM and all of the ways that we can organize the important information about your past, current, and future relationships. But where you are in active campaign, I think it is extremely important that you really start to think about the stages of your specific business and your customer's life cycle and what these look like for you. Because not every business's close stage is signing a contract and roping in lawyers. But that doesn't mean it's any less imperative for the health of your business to understand what it is. So I want to show you all this graphic so you can understand just how important every stage is. So we begin with reach and engage. This is where you use precise targeting to find the right prospects and grow your audience. Capture their attention with messages that match who they are. This is the segmentation that we are talking about before. The right person at the right time with the right message via the right medium. So we have reached our target, target audience for Boone's Bandana with Tabitha. And now it is imperative that we engage her with content that will continue her interest in our business and our products. Then we move to nurture and educate. This is where you grow your relationship with your audience by providing tailored gui guidance. Help them learn what's available to address their needs. So now that we have a little bit more information about Tabitha, we can build personalized touches that helps her get to know Boone's Bandanas better and how we can meet her needs as a consumer. Which pushes Tabitha into convert and close. So as their confidence grows in you, Provide individual audience members with well-timed calls to action to take them to the next step with you. So now we have tracked Tabitha and her interactions with our site. We know exactly what she is looking for and we provide it to her through a targeted email message and an automated journey based on her interests. Tabitha is now ready to be a customer of Boone's Bandanas which will push her into support and grow. This is where you delight each customer by knowing what they want, when they want it. 
make them so happy that they buy more and tell others why they did. So because Tabitha has felt so supported by Boone's bandanas and has received the quality product that she was looking for, she is now a brand ambassador and shares her story to help us reach new prospects. Now that we have walked through that, I urge you to decipher what this customer lifecycle looks like for one of your prospects. And you can also think about where in the life cycle you may need to put in some work and how Active Campaign can help guide your contacts all the way through to the end and through their continued support. Here at Active Campaign, you will hear us say time and time again, process before software, meaning that the platform or software is only as powerful as the process that you built into it. To know what that powerful process is for your business, you need to figure out who you're engaging with, what they want to hear, how you should interact with them, and what your goal is before trying to build an automation or build out your pipelines and deals. With that, that wraps up our second module about the deal CRM, and we will be moving on to our third and final module. For our final module today, we'll be finally jumping into automations and campaigns. I know this is a moment a lot of you have been waiting for. I'm sorry that we're reaching it at the end, but it's imperative for you to see that this is the place where everything in Active Campaign is brought together. So we can take some moments to talk about why they are immensely important to the success of your customer experience and customer journey. Automations can save you time, help you stay organized, and make more money by improving your marketing and sales processes for your unique business. So with that, we can jump into the different types of messaging. Automations are useful for when you want a sequence of events to be followed. This could involve pre-sale nurturing of a contact, post-sale, upsell emails, and touch points, etc. Email campaigns are one-off messages sent to a list of opted-in contacts from the campaign's overview page. One-to-one -one emails are personal emails sent to a single contact from an account user. These emails can be sent from a deal record, the contacts overview page, or a contact profile page. So now that we understand the difference between those types of messages and touch points, we can really jump into automations. Automations are by far the most important feature in Active Campaign, and I think is the feature that sets Active Campaign apart from all of the other platforms on the market. All of the other AC features that we have looked at today are really awesome and really powerful tools, but it is truly the automation builder that is the powerhouse that brings them all together. By pulling all of the elements like forms, contacts, deals, etc. all together, the automation builder really allows us to create craft the cohesive personalized customer experience that we know means so much to our customers. You can really think of automations as your experience builder and as the place where sales, marketing, support, and success all meet in one place to really deliver that customer experience automation. So let's jump into the builder and take a look at what an automation in Active Campaign can look like. It can look overwhelming at first, but when I zoom in a little closer, you guys will see that the automation is really just a whiteboard consisting of a bunch of little pieces of all of the other features that we learned about today. You might take some time to really perfect the automations so that they're delivering the exact experience that you are looking for. But that is why our easy visual action builder really allows you to consistently rethink and rework these workflows. And of course, it can be hard to know where to start 
and your team may not have the bandwidth to dedicate someone solely to crafting these workflows. But don't worry, because we have active campaign specialists who are constantly creating new automation recipes for all kinds of different industry, business, and goals. As of today, I believe there is more than 500 currently to choose from, and I know they're even working on new ones every day. It is a really amazing resource, and if you are interested in it, you uh, can go ahead and throw us a message in the chat, and we will send you the link to the Active Campaign Marketplace where all of these recipes are stored. So, my favorite part of automations is the fact that this is the silent little engine in the background that is always running and always working for your customers, even when you're focused on other things. But this is the thing that still is delivering the experience as though you are hands-on every step of the way. So while automations do take some time investment up front, it does yield us time back in the long run, uh, which we all know is invaluable for business owners and marketers like yourself. When looking at this automation, or any automation really, they consist of two things. These are a trigger and an action. Obviously, you can see here we have a series of action and we have these three triggers. Triggers are simply conditions that start automations. With them, you are able to specify exactly how contacts will be added to automations so that you can proceed through the workflow. As you can see, we have a few triggers here, one of them being contact submits the getting started with Boone's Bandanas form. You can have as many triggers as you would like at the beginning of each and every automation. This is one of the differentiating factors for Active Campaign compared to some of the other platforms on the market. We give you over 25 unique ways to funnel a contact into an automation experience, ranging from behaviors like opening an email, abandoning in a cart, or simply date-based if you want to make sure you never miss a contact's birthday or anniversary. That is not even considering the other native integrations that I was telling you about before. So let's say we have an integration with QuickBooks for our accounting software. And we go ahead and we issue an invoice to one of our contacts. QuickBooks will integrate with ActiveCampaign to give that contact a tag. And if we think because that invoice, that contact now needs to move through an automation, we can use that exact tag to trigger the contact into an automation. The possibilities in the automation builder are endless. And I truly believe that every single one of our customers has the tools here to make a perfectly suited automation for their business, for their goals, and for their customer's experience. We don't have enough time today to go through all of the automation triggers, but if this is something that really interests you and you want to hear more about it, please let my colleague know and we can send you some resources in the chat. So now that we have our trigger and our contact is in the automation, we need to execute some actions to start personalizing their journey. If you remember a little bit ago, Tabitha filled out the getting started with Boone's bandana form and upon submission, she would have been triggered into this automation. After this trigger, Tabitha will start moving through the automation actions. Actions are a series of processes that a contact proceeds through once they have entered your automation. As a contact encounters each action in the automation path, the action is executed. Actions can be external. For example, you can use actions to communicate with your contacts via email, SMS, or site messaging, but they can also be internal. For example, you can use actions to update a deal record, a contact score, and add the contacts to another automation or create goals. 
Because Tabitha is a new contact that submitted a form, we definitely want to start engaging her with content that matches who she is and what she is interested based on the information she shared with us. So let's start out by sending her an email. You can do this one of two ways. You can either drop and drag from the builder on the right, like the forum builder, or you can click these little plus signs, which will open the same exact building blocks that you have here on the right. They both give you the same building options, so it's solely what you prefer. So here we have clicked on what we want to open, and this will bring up our template builder. With ActiveCampaign, you can use the drop and drag design blocks to create beautiful campaigns, automation emails, and templates without having to know any code. You don't have to know any HTML, any CSS, you can just use our builder. Email design blocks are building blocks you can use to create your campaigns and automation emails. They are available with the drag and drop email designer, and you can use any of these blocks to create and customize your email or email template. These building blocks consist of text block, image, button, video, line break, spacer, RSS feed, social links, and HTML that are available on every plan tier, as well as products and abandoned cart which are available on our Plus, Professional, and Enterprise plans. And last but not least, predictive content, which is available on our Professional and Enterprise plans. Of course, you don't always have time to customize each and every design block in the email we are sending, and if that's the case, you can jump on over to our template library that hosts a plethora of options to choose from. All of the templates in our template library are free on all plan tiers, and we are constantly updating and creating new designs. There are tons to choose from, ranging from industry, message, and of course, color and images. So you can make sure to find the one that fits best for your business. Once we have that email customized, saved, and finalized, we are going to be brought back to our automation whiteboard. After adding that email, we want to make sure we add some wait steps. Wait steps are very important in automations because without them, all of these actions will happen simultaneously. So you can have an automation with 45 different emails and they will all be sent at once if you do not incorporate wait steps. Wait steps are what holds a contact at a particular stage of the automation for a specific amount of time or until a condition is met. This ensures that you have a great deal of control over the whole experience. Like we said before, right message, right person, right time, and right medium. You can also see that I have a notification email set up. Notification emails are messages that you can send automatically to a team member when a contact completes a stage in your automation. This is an internal process and the contacts will not know that they are actively in this stage. Then we make our way down to the if-else statement. An if-else statement allows us to split the path of the automation based on if a contact meets a condition or not. For example, if Tabitha is at any stage of our leads pipeline, which we, sh we know she is, she will go down the yes route and I can send her emails that will help nurture her through the customer journey in hopes of converting her. If a contact gets to this point in the automation process and they're not in the leads pipeline, I can make the next action for them to be created a deal card, assigned to an owner, someone on our team, and they can start engaging with them. Another great building tool 
is our goal action. The goal action allows contacts to jump from their current location in the automation directly to that goal if they meet the conditions to do so. It is just like a magnet. Conditions for this action are created using the segment builder that we went through before. You can use this to begin other automations, send targeted messages to contacts, adjust contact and deal scores, and even add co a contact to a specific step in your automation upon entry. Goals are extremely powerful and valuable in your automations. There are so many different actions that you can use in this builder, but some of them require the plus and up plan tiers. If you are curious which actions are available on your plan tier, we can always send you the pricing link to see what is available to you. The last feature I want to highlight for you all today is Active Campaigns Conversations. As an add-on to any plan tier, you can use Active Campaign's conversation feature to have two-way interactions with leads and customers using chat and email. All customer conversations are stored in a unified inbox, allowing you and your team to easily manage communications as well as provide contacts around customer issues, questions, sales wins, interactions, and more. We call it CXA for a service, with the idea being that a live chat is added directly to your website so you can engage with customers and prospects in real time from a sales perspective, but also from a support perspective. Whatever kinds of questions your customers have for you at that time, you have that open channel where you can directly engage with them. For someone who has a website like Boone's Bandanas, I know being there to answer that person's question about what color they can possibly buy a bandana in or what sizing our collars are in is invaluable. I can start creating that relationship right there on my website. So a way to describe conversations is to say it's a collection of communication tools that are used for direct messaging in between a user and a contact. You can use three different messaging channels, including live chat, Facebook Messenger, and the collection of email address. So you're looking at the omni-channel ability to connect with people on whatever tool they are using. So you are giving your customer the optionality to choose how they want to interact with you. And we do have chat bot capabilities available for our businesses that don't have someone online 24 hours a day. The idea behind the chat bot is that we will be collecting the key information and questions from your contacts who have messaged you while you are not online. So when you do pop back online at the start of your next workday, you are well set up to answer all of the questions as efficiently as possible. Additionally, we do have a Conversations mobile app. This is for our on-the-go business owners and marketers. This is so that you can continue to engage with your contacts no matter if you're sitting at your desk at work or your laptop in the conference room or are out and about. Conversations can be used as a lead generator as well. From a sales perspective, you are collecting the lead's email address at the start of the interaction, which will allow you to seamlessly tie those contacts back into active campaign, allowing for the collection of more data through forms and chatbot. Conversations allows your stakeholders to instantly see valuable data and information connected to the contact when it matters to them, giving you the tools to create the ideal customer experience depending on what they're interested in. That is a high level view of conversations, but again, we are happy to give you all more resources in the chat 
or your sales representative can be on hand to go more in depth about conversations, fill in any gaps, or answer any questions that you may have. To finish up today, I wanna to leave you all with some resources and remind you all that your best resource right now will be your sales representative. So be sure to reach out to them when you finish up in a few moments here. You will all be receiving a recorded version of this demo so you can go back and review what we went over. You can also use our Learn Center, which is our one-stop shop for everything Active Campaign. All of the features that we just covered, you'll find the resources there. It is loaded with informational videos, help articles, guides, step-by-step -step instructions, and overviews of all of the features and tools in Active Campaign. So be sure to check some of those out. You can also take some of our courses associated with Active Campaign. This will help you get a better education on the tools and resources that you have available on your plans. You can also utilize our accelerated onboarding series, which runs weekly and goes much more in depth with the features that we covered today and the strategy that you can apply for your business. As we wrap up, I want to say thank you for attending and learning more about Active Campaign. Your best resource in Active Campaign is yourself and your knowledge of how to utilize these tools. So if you have any last minute questions, please feel free to throw them in the chat. My colleague and I will stick around to answer every question. Um, and make sure that you are all set up for success in moving forward with the platform. If you don't have any more questions, have an awesome day and thank you so much for hanging out.